KUGH Sports. I'm Jackson Reed. It's been a big week for Jayhawk Sports, so let's get things started. The KU football team hosted BYU this past weekend, and safe to say the Jayhawks did not disappoint. The team started out with a monster hit by Kobe Bryant that popped the ball free and allowed Bryant to scoop and score for the first, a Hawks' first defensive touchdown of the season. After that, Jalen Daniels tossed touchdowns to Luke Grimm and Trevor Cardell. And meanwhile, the Kansas defense stunned BYU with another defensive touchdown, this time to start the second half off by a pick six from team captain Kenny Logan. The defense also allowed the fewest amount of rushing yards in the game in almost 15 years. The Jayhawks took the win 38-27. to They moved to 4-0 for the second straight season, and they have found themselves in the top 25 for the first time this season. As for another Jayhawk team, Kansas Volleyball is ranked 19th in the nation after splitting two games with Texas Tech in Lubbock this past weekend. The Jayhawks are back at home this weekend, taking on the 20th ranked Houston Cougars. KUJH reporter Shamaria Massenberg is on the scene before a big ranked matchup this weekend. Shamaria, how's it going? Thanks, Jackson. I am standing outside of Horsch Family Volleyball Arena, which is where Jayhawk fans will be tomorrow night ahead of KU Volleyball's top 20 matchup against the Houston Cougars. The Jayhawks and the Cougars are ranked right next to each other at 19th and 20th in the nation, so we're expecting a close matchup. The Jayhawks are coming off of a split game against Texas Tech this past weekend, which led to freshman Reagan Burns being named Rookie of the Week after scoring a career high of 28 digs in their first match against the Red Raiders. The Jayhawks look to keep this momentum going into tomorrow, and Houston will take on their second consecutive match against a top-ranked team after losing the 10th-ranked BYU on Wednesday. Jackson, back to you. Thanks, Shamaria. Those should be two great matchups inside Horse Family Volleyball Arena. But as for the high school level, the Lawrence Free State Firebirds are 4-0 to start this young season. Anchored by a stingy defense, the Firebirds are taking their undefeated record on the road tomorrow to play Shawnee Mission North. But back to the college level, as for tonight, the Kansas soccer team is hosting the Baylor Bears in their Big 12 opener tonight, Big 12 home opener tonight at Rock Chalk Park. Ashton, how's the weather look for tonight's match? We are back with our afternoon planner for today. We are going to be in the 90s today. It will be hot. If you have later afternoon classes, just be mindful by 2 p.m. We are already at the upper 80s, and then by 4 p.m. We are there at 92 degrees, so it is not feeling like September at all, more like July with these high temperatures that are feeling very warm. And if you are heading out to the soccer game tonight, they play tonight at 7 p.m. We are still sitting in those mid 80s by 7 p.m. And then by 10 p.m. sitting there at those lower 70s. So as the evening goes on, we are going to drop into those 60s. So if you do, do go out to the game tonight, just be mindful that it is going to be a warm September evening for you.